Hey, Cedric here. Uh, watched uh, uh, Will Keith, B. Billy K. He uh, did a review on the Monkey Mace, and it was an excellent review. I asked him for an honest review, and he did so. Pros and cons, you know, from his point of view and everything, and it was very excellent. And it brought me back. I've, I've gone over this before, you know, that it, you have to train with whatever you're going to use, whatever you plan on using for self-defense. If you don't, you will not have even a passing familiarity with the article. You just stick something in your pocket, it doesn't mean you defend it. You have to take the time. Um, this was bought in Altered DNA, so this is going out to a gentleman, I won't name you, because, you know, I don't, don't name folks unless you say it's okay. It's going out to Altered DNA, Monkey Mace, with the one-inch steel bearing, same size steel bearing, as the uh, the Malefactor Monkey Mace that uh, Will Keith has, slightly shorter and a different grip design. You can see here. I call it the Altered DNA. It just reminds me of the Double Helix. You know. So training for accuracy. Billy brought up. Will brought up an excellent, uh, you know, excellent point that I've gone over before about you have to have that familiarity. You know. You don't swing this like a stick, for it's not a stick. It's not a stick. You know, you can't strike anywhere along the length of the haft and expect results. You're striking with the end. Yeah? Um, something like this, you know, just like uh, um, Billy Kay said, you put it in your pocket. That's how I like to fold mine. I carry a Viper, a smaller version, much smaller version. And you know, you strike with the end. Aim for the center of what you're aiming at. We're going to talk about things to hit as well. Because I saw a comment there on Will Keith's video where a fella says, if I got hit with that, it would just make me mad. Not so. So training for accuracy. You can do something like this, all right? Now, before you start, don't sw just swing fast and hit above because what you'll get is a wraparound. And if you don't have a good hook in, you're going to rip that string out of your ceiling or whatever you've got it attached to. I'm attached to a ceiling fan. So we want to train for accuracy, okay? We're going to try and just hit that, hit that with the end, okay? Just hit that end. So we're working on getting used to hitting with that ball. Alright? So this is really good. You can go nice and slow, get used to it. Alright? You're hitting with this. Practice. Even if it's just practicing on yourself, alright? That's what I do so I know the spots to hit. Now the beauty of this, it operates a lot like an acupressure. Other good ways to practice for accuracy. It's a simple piece of cardboard. Draw a silhouette on there, draw shapes, whatever you'd like, and aim for those, okay? Because this is going to do the work for you. You just want to get a little speed up. So that wrist, that wrist twitch is what's going to do that for you. Another thing to watch out for is blowback. When you hit, if you swing, just swing through like a stick on something solid, then you'll get it bouncing back against your arm. And I've knotted myself up pretty good. So when you come through, kind of swing through with your wrist and not your arm. And then you can come back, all right? So, places to hit. Do you have to hit in the head for this to be useful? No. And I would highly recommend that you only hit in the head if it's dire. You know? The best places that I believe to hit, you know, Anywhere where bone is close. If you want good nerve strikes, right here, right here, up front, this is just a wicked one. This will shut the hand down. This is just, just wicked pain all through here till you get up to where the muscle sheathes that nerve. But down here along the, rib, the wrist, try it on yourself. It's like hitting a xylophone of pain, man, when you just tap in there. Anywhere along the hand. This is just going to burst knuckles snap the backs of the, the bones there if they got a weapon in the hand, whatever. Alright? 
and you want to stop bad things from happening to you okay so that's what you're going for whatever's closest it's always hands isn't it elbows are good that's a whole lot of nastiness right there collarbones whatever you can hit alright but if you're swinging here anywhere you hit along here if you swing through this is it just sinks in through the meat through the muscle and it's just in there look this is me not even not even trying and it just starts sinking in just listen hits hard it's all about speed how much does a bullet weigh you know a slug uh, let's say you stand 9 millimeter I'm not sure what it equates to you know 115 grain I'm not sure what that equates to in weight I maybe knew it one time but it's nothing compared to this of course we're not moving as quickly but we've got much more mass so we operate this like something that's across between a stick and a whip to get that speed for that moment of impact all right so that's just a little bit of a uh, little bit of how to all right so we got places to strike for self-defense inside outside of the elbows all right on the elbow itself anywhere along here okay awesome spots in here just beautiful lovely along the tendons okay and this is not just one shot and stop you pop 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 until the thread is at least diminished enough that you can make your escape okay use the reach use that reach don't get in close you get what's close to you okay you don't step into where you're within reach so that you can get some hey make a shot in on their noggin so we got these spots all through here anywhere bone is close all right you're just gonna pop things diminish the threat diminish the threat collarbones outside of the knee oh, again we're playing that xylophone of pain inside of the knee on the kneecap itself okay all through there groin shots wonderful with these if you can get them just a nice little nice little underhanded granny shot there pop xylophone of pain that sends just a wonderful shock wave tried it out on myself had to I have to know if my gear works where my gear works you know so I've hit myself everywhere with these the sternum that's a beautiful slap straight down the center right across the chest bone here between the, uh, the pectorals right down awesome awesome shot you can just hit that just easy it's one of those things that maybe you got to get an offhand one in to get yourself some breathing room right and always remember that figure eight you keep this in front of you and you can lash out but you keep it in motion keep it in front of you keep that potential of threat between you and your attacker and train for accuracy practice on yourself so you know which spots cause the best results and live free and punch hard this will be uh, shipped out Monday. It'll be coming at you, man. So, thank you all for coming by. Check out B. Billy K. I'll put a link to his uh, review video down at the bottom. And practice. These strikes can be used with any of your striking implements, okay? Your batons. But here you can strike anywhere along the length. Of course, there's more power the further out you get from your hand. You know, you got more force in that strike. The closer in you get, the less effective. So, all these spots, they work with any kind of blunt striking implement. Of course, with these, you can also do your stab attacks. And you can get, get some really cool stuff going. And I'll stick to what I came here for. Thank you all for coming by. Be good to yourselves. Live free. And punch hard. Hold your heads up high.
because you are worth it and I dig you, alright? Catch you later.